Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I am Nilesh and in this video, we'll continue to learn about time in Pandas. We'll specifically look at two libraries, PYTZ and DateUtil that are used to work with time zones. And we'll look at how to get all the time zones from these libraries. Uh, then we'll look at what is a TZ database, what is daylight savings time, saving time, and what is ambiguous versus a non-existent time. We won't be doing any coding in this video, so it's just an overview of concepts. The first warning is that the PYTZ and the DateUtil libraries, they both have different def uh, definitions, could have different definitions for the same uh, time zones. So that's something to remember. And then the time zone uh, within each of those libraries could vary uh, with different versions. And then when using the PYTZ uh, library, the code shown here in orange is the wrong way to use uh, that library. So here I'm I've written TZ info is equal to PYTZ dot time zone US system. Instead, what you want to write is use dot localize. And so the code that's now shown below, that's the code you want to use to get the correct time output. And then for the dates beyond 2038, uh, January 18, the time zones may be inaccurate. And all these warnings are from the pandas docs. Now, what is a TZ database? It's a collection of time zones all over the world and that's what's uh, used in PYTZ and a library and uh, the date util library uses the OS time zones like the one that is with the operating system of that computer and together they I think they are all connected to the TZ database so another uh, name for that is TZ data zone info database IANA time zone database or the Olson database. In here, uh, this is the code that is used to get all the databases and all the time zones within these two libraries. Uh, so for PYTZ, it's quite simple. For date util, this is the code you want to type. And the, at the time of recording with these two versions shown here, there was a difference between the total number of records that were for time zones in each of those two libraries. But for most part, they look to have the similar entries in them. Now, what is daylight saving time? So daylight saving time is, starts usually in March in the US and then uh, it ends in November. So in March, what you the clock is moved one hour forward so when you wake up in the morning let's say at seven o'clock it's uh, you it's actually six o'clock in the morning so you're getting that one hour extra time uh, during the day and that's kind of the idea behind it and in november the clock is moved one hour back in time and here as shown on the map the blue uh, blue regions though and the orange regions are the ones where the daylight saving time is in use whereas all other grayed out uh, regions either they have used previously or they have never used the uh, daylight saving time in that part of the world so what is non-existent time in the month of march as you see here the clock is moved one hour forward so when it's 2 a.m at night it is moved to 3 a.m. So the time between 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. is, uh, it's, you can say it's lost. So 2.30 a.m. would not be there in the, uh, when we are looking at the daylight saving time because it jumps one hour. Now, so you're going from 2 a.m. directly to 3 a.m. Now, if it's what is ambiguous time, it's the opposite of that. In November, when the clock moves one hour back from two o'clock, directly go to one o'clock, you go one hour back. So 
the 130 a 130 a.m occurs twice and that's why it's called ambiguous time because when you are referring to a time within that hour uh, the question comes up is is that time before the day before the clock was moved one hour back or is it the time after the clock was moved one hour back and that's why it's called ambiguous time and there is a new argument we can parameter we can use in pandas which is called fold it's from version 1.10 and it has a feature where we can specify either 0 or 1 for the time before or after the clock is moved back and as you can see here it works with the date util library and the code is shown here where fold, fold 0 and there is fold 1 and if you if you are using the pytz library then there is a uh, dot tz underscore localize uh, um, that we can use where we can specify ambiguous is equal to either true or false now the best practice uh, that i've seen is whenever working with time zone you want to first convert the time to utc time do all the calculations and then convert it back to the local time or the time zone if which is needed so then you don't have to worry about time zone conversions while working between different areas so you have more than one time zone the, if, if you can convert them to utc so the calculations could become much easier so that was it for this video i hope in this video you all learned what is time zone what is tz database and the importance of py tz and date util libraries in the next video we'll do coding on these two libraries please like share and subscribe i hope to see you all in the next video thank you